right, coming up next, it's a UFC Women's Phantomweight Division matchup. Drillers make killers, and nobody works her takedowns harder than this young woman. She has become a force in this division, and even though the opposition oftentimes knows what's coming, no one's able to stop that shot. Nobody's able to stop that takedown attempt. No one's able to stop that single leg. She said in the fighter meetings, I have drilled that takedown 5,000 times. Amazing. Over and over, I hit a single leg. Every day of the week, I hit at least 30 single legs. I'm like, well, is wrestling practice every day? She goes, no. I just want to make sure that I have a skill that is so dominant that no matter how much you practice it, you are not practicing it enough to stop me from taking you down with it. It is truly crazy to watch her approach to getting that single leg off. And her ability to get her opponents off balance in a mixed martial arts setting, as special as anybody in the sport right now, we'll see how it goes for her here tonight. Well, for my money, she is as accomplished a striker as any woman in the game at present. Tonight, though, she's got to focus on keeping this fight upright. She has to stay on her feet. If she is taken down early, it will be a long night for her. She has to manage the space. She has to sprawl and brawl, and she has to fight with that ferocity that she is known for. It's the aggressive attitude, the aggressive approach that she takes that makes her one of the more exciting fighters in the UFC. And she told us in our fighter meeting on Thursday, she doesn't necessarily want to fight on a napkin in the center of the octagon, right? She wants to control distance, manage range effectively. She has certainly done that every step of the way thus far in her UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levine. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Bantamweight Division. It's who does he first? Fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 129 pounds. Fighting out of Kanagawa, Japan, Boom Boom. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a kickboxer making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 126 pounds. Fighting out of Lafayette, Louisiana, Bo Crusher. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Center here in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, and DC. This is the loudest MMA venue that I have ever been in in my life. John, I feel the same thing. UFC 124. When I walked out of the back with Josh Koscheck, I had never heard anything like the crowd in the Bell Center before he fought George St. Pierre. These people cheer and they cheer loud for their guy. Ooh, big shot, man. There's no tell on that leg kick. Big kick land. Right hand landed. And they separate. So both girls landing right out of the shoot. Real sneaky body kick. Oh! You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Nice hook. Just over three minutes to go. Can't take many of those, you better check. Well, she missed with that right hand. 
good punch land. And they separate. the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown, D? Oh, she's legs. I mean, that is a big shot to the head. I cannot believe she's still standing. That one snuck in. It's nice strike. Dig and kick. Check these low leg kicks. Oh, now she gets a oh, huge connection fire there. Smashing shot land. How's she gonna try to find the next shot that will finish the fight? She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's gonna finish this fight. That's a big strike right there. Back and forth we go. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so we will see another round here. Sat her opponent down there in that previous round with a punch. Surprisingly, surprisingly we are going forward because I thought it was over. I saw that punch land. We started to yell. We started to scream. Keep that pressure. Wow, your kickboxing is spectacular. You ready? You ready? All right, second round underway. Look at the turnover in that kick. Oh, she landed a big knee to the body. there to double up on the jab and really giving her opponent a lot to think about on the feet tonight. She's having trouble processing everything that's coming at her and she's beating her with a basic, basic jab but they're very nice and crisp. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. All right, she's landed some pretty good shots here tonight, but still DC unable to string any solid combinations together. I just don't believe she's confident in being as... There, this could be the end, DC. I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she's standing. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. A nice punch lands over the top. there as she goes to the jab, DC. Nicely done. That jab is stopping her in her tracks. And it's not only a range finder, she is really damaging her opponent behind the jab. Ooh, nice trip by her there to get the takedown. I would think a lot of fighters would be susceptible to that type of takedown in a clinch situation. She tricks you, right? Because she has you thinking hip toss in the moment you take your hips back to create space. Boom! There goes those beautiful trips. Fantastic judo flair we have when we watch this young lady. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Oh, she is wearing it, bleeding from her cheek now. And she lands a punch there. We'll see if she can start to turn these singular strikes into combinations now. She's gonna have to find something to follow that big strike that she's landing over and over again. 
big kick land. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. All right, there's the horn. Let us now check out some of the action from that round. volume of strikes in the previous round and picking up exactly where oh, her there. I'm not sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the octagon. She can't possibly know where she is right now after taking such a massive hit. Here. Nice leg kick. Beautiful punch. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Chase the finish. All the damage to that leg starting to take its toll. You see her limping a little bit. Just over three minutes now to go. Real nice body kick lands. Well, she lands another strike to the body here, and the percentage is getting high now in terms of the body strikes landed. Didn't see a lot of that early on. You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Oh, no! Oh, there, there, DC, the seminal blow of this fight thus far. Yeah, man, she landed a massive hook, and it has her opponent hurt bad. job by her defensively yet again. You're not winning all the time when you're playing defense, but a nice job to raise the hands there. She keeps her hands up, keeps her chin down, so her opponent is not getting through with any of her head strikes. Beautiful leg kick throw. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you'd want to see from her here. She's trying to keep the judges out of it. Really lighten her up now. I mean, that is a big shot to the head. I cannot believe she's still standing. Big knee to the body. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head. She's her bad. Thirty seconds to go now. Liver kick. Just unable to quite find that range. Such a fast leg kick. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. You ready? You ready? Fourth round now. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Oh, she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. It's one thing to be aggressive, but also efficient. The shot she's thrown tonight for opponent's hurt. Beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive shot. Plans a good combination. That one landed clean. Big punch lands through the middle. It's hard for me to remember a time in which you were fully mounted in the UFC. I have never been full mounted. I hope to never be full mounted. And this young lady now finds herself in this position. In this position, what's very key is that she cannot panic. She's got to go and attack the hips, create some space, shrimp off to a side, re-slide in that half guard so that the now she's a little bit safer. Once you're in half, take your underhook, get back to your feet, or fully recover full guard. 
Pretty impressive ground and pound display here, champ. She's doing a great job of finding the right time to take her ground and pound opportunities. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Man, that cut just continues to get worse for her. Oh, and she gives up her back. This is not a fighter you want anywhere near your backside. We could get a finish here in the not too distant future. Yes, she's very dangerous from the top. She's so good at controlling the hip. She's so good at just being aware and taking advantage of any opportunity to finish that now she finds herself taking her back with the chance to try to end this fight. Wow, she got that respect and then she capitalized on it. Holy smokes. We send it inside now to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes of round number four. Declare the winner by knockout, Bo Crusher. Well, you see the raw emotions and the happiness out of her and her corner. What a result here tonight as she gets it done by knockout. I mean, she could not have imagined that it would go this well. I know she said it was.